Many who are in need of food look to their local food banks for help. But what happens when these nonprofits are experiencing food, food insecurities? Jade Morrow joins us live in studio with more on how you can help. He spoke to an area food distributor, distributor who says the demand is high and they are in need of food ahead of the holidays. But if you can't donate your money, you can donate your time. Thanksgiving is a time spent with family and, of course, food. But for those who struggle to make ends meet, they might rely on their local food bank to put food on the dinner table. We're seeing more people coming in saying the same thing. I never thought I would be in this situation. Regional director with Second Harvest Food Bank, Paul Selfo, says it's a common trend for the holidays, but even more so this year. When they go out to the store and they purchase $600 worth of groceries, they're getting about $400, you know? So that gap is now where a food bank comes in to try and bridge that gap. Selfo says food banks are even seeing a decrease in the amount of donations they receive. He explains how you can help. You know, just finding a local agency and helping them uh, distribute food or package food or prepare food or serve food. If not, you can donate your fund, uh, dollar amounts. You can purchase food and donate that. So there are a lot of ways people can help however they feel comfortable. We'll have more information on our website on how to help available at kplctv.com. Live in studio, Jade Morrow, 7 News. Just ahead on Now at 9.